Okay, so I just um, showed you guys my, what do you call it, um, my blue tent stink named Junior um, pooing on my ledge here. Um, and then I had just finished doing his nails. Anyhow, this is his, his cage. Oops. Sorry, I stepped on one of my son's toys. But anyway, so this is his cage. I believe it's 36 by 18 by 18. Um, if that means anything to anybody. I don't know if it's big enough or long enough. I think it is due to what I've seen on bluestongueskink.net's page. Um, but if it isn't, then obviously I'll have to upgrade it and change it. I know it's kind of ugly right now or plain. I just don't really know what to put in it, to be honest. Um, so up there you can see is his UV lamp and his um, his heating source. So there you go, his heat lamp is UV lamp. So there it is. There's a thermometer to watch the um, the heat levels. He has his water. He has his hide house. I guess you call that. It's pretty much a walk that a rock that he can bask on, but. He usually only goes on it to eat, and then he actually goes inside all the time because it has a hole. So I thought that was pretty neat, and he seems to love it. Um, since I put it in there, he hasn't really come away from that spot. Um, I have that big branch tree thing in there. I don't know what for, to be honest. It's just there. I like these cages better than op the top that opens. Like, my top still can open, and it it's a mesh top, which is great. Um, but I like having the front doors that open because it's easier to access them. Um, and then, of course, I have a log, which he, if you watch the other video, oh, there he goes, in there. Um, he crawled up on it and then pooed, whatever. That was the first time I ever seen him poo, so that was pretty neat. And then I have this leaf-like thingy, um, here. I would like to be more extravagant, but again, I feel like I don't want to overcrowd it. And right now we're using Repti Bark, which I may change to Aspen, um, Aspen... Shedding or setting, whatever it's called. I might change it to that because a lot of people are saying that that's probably better. Um, there's the hole, as you can see, to underneath that rock thingy. And he's decided he's not really quite ready to hide yet. If I could get another image of you. Hey, Junior. Hey. Hey. Hi, Papa. He's exploring. Um, yeah, so that's my blue tongue skink. He's... As you can see, pretty active, actually. He's not really that um, inactive, which is pretty good. I like that. He hides most of the day, though, but usually by the time I come home, well, yeah, by the time I come home, he's pretty much out. Today was the first day that he came out on his own to eat. I usually have to undig him from under the bark. But um, ever since he came out to eat, he's been up and about. And we've taken him out. We usually take him out for an hour once we get home. And he comes out in the morning for about a half an hour if he wants. I don't really push that one. But in the evening, once I see that he's out and about, and like today he ate and stuff, so my son came and picked him up. Anyhow, if you guys have any other suggestions for our cage here, that would be great. Again, I believe it's 36 by 18 by 18. They considered a 40-gallon cage at Pet um, Smart. It was the biggest cage they had, actually. Um... And yeah, this is pretty much it. So there's the cool side, there's the hot side, there's the water bowl, there's the food. Which today, what I did with the food. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. You're so active today. Yes. Um, sorry. Um, what I did with the food today is he has in there wellness dog food, and he has snails, and he has worms. Um, I have crickets but I don't give him crickets as part of his meal even though we've only had him for a few days I kind of have a routine um I don't give him crickets as part of his meal because yeah there's nothing really nutritious about them but he'll get one or two crickets a day dusted with calcium um and then the rest is pretty much worms right now what's in there is giant mealworms I have small whale worms I have oh he's going back in I have super worms I have um what else Small whale worms, big whale worms, giant whale worms, super worms, and oh, wax worms. Um, he'll pretty much eat whatever he chooses to eat. And there he goes. And that is how long he is right now, which technically isn't even half the cage. So I think it should be good. 
but again, I don't know how much bigger he may get or, or anything. So there he goes back underneath his hide spot. I guess he's had enough of my voice, so he's gone, <laughs> which is cool. Um, he likes the rock, which is actually just a newly a new addition. I actually went out to the pet store and I bought another rock because I didn't like what was in there. Originally, when I first moved him in here, it only came with this big, huge thingy I got, the water bowl, which now needs to be changed because I think I put some dirt in it, and that log. I went yesterday and I bought the flowers and I bought um, the rock. And this bowl is actually from my bearded dragon's cage, which you can see him in another video. And I took it out and gave it to him um, because I gave a different bowl to my bearded dragon. So there you have it. That's my new blue tongue skink. So if you guys have any recommendations for the cage or for um, things that I could give him, I, I do have also canned grasshop grasshoppers for him. So we'll maybe try that tomorrow. I do try to switch up his diet. He's not eating that much. So someone could also give me an idea of how much a six to eight month old um, blue tongue skink should be eating. That would be great. Okay, thanks.